On this video, we're going to be using the constant multiple rule to be finding derivatives of more functions. Remember, you should be trying these yourselves before you watch me do it, and this way you're quizzing yourself. So we want to find the derivative of 1 over 5 times x to the 6, and also the derivative of 7 e to the x. So first let's take the derivative of 1 over 5x to the 6. So we need to be writing this um, in terms of functions that we know how to take the derivative of. Yes, we know how to take the derivative of x to the 6, but it is wrapped up inside of another function. So we don't know how to take the derivative of 1 over 5x to the 6 without rewriting this. So let's rewrite it as 1 fifth times x to the negative 6. Now what we have is a constant, that's one-fifth, times a function we know how to take the derivative of. We know how to take the derivative of x to the negative 6. So this is one-fifth times the derivative of x to the negative 6. Okay, now this is a power function, and I can then apply the power rule. I'm going to take my negative 6, I'm going to plop it down in front of x, and then subtract 1 from its exponent. So I get 1 fifth times negative 6x to the negative 7, which I can rewrite as negative 6 over 5x to the 7th. All right, let's do the other one, 7e to the x. If I want to take the derivative of 7e to the x, that is 7 times a function I know how to take the derivative of. e to the x is a constant to the x power. So um, my a there is the scientific number e. So I get 7 times the derivative of e to the x, which is 7e to the x. Okay, if you're wondering why is the derivative of e to the x e to the x. Remember that rule was that the derivative of a to the x, if I take the derivative of that, it's the natural log of a times a to the x. And if I take this letter, this number e, the derivative of e to the x, here that's a specific number, I get the natural log of e times e to the x, and the natural log of e is 1, so I get e to the x. 